his boots. He's absolutely world class. Oh, unbelievable. Well, that's why Sale couldn't get the ink dry on the contract fast enough. An international scrum half. Why Sale? <laughs> that's a good question. Um, first of all, for the weather. You can see how nice <laughs> yeah, it is today. So, uh, no, just a great opportunity that I got out of the blue to come over and uh, I couldn't say no. When I got here, not a lot of people knew me, so I had a bit more freedom to do what I want. Lately, I feel a bit more under pressure in games in terms of guys trying to niggle me, keep me down and stuff like that. So I need to adapt that and maybe get the ball away a bit quicker. Faf, the clock is away. So Faf, one area I want to look at, how you get away, because you get away from the base very well. Obviously, you've got a low centre of gravity. You're underneath that rook, and it comes as a surprise to the guards. Hopefully when we get quick ball and I can see guys getting dominant, I try and straighten up a little bit just to see both sides. And then, yeah, very important for me is just to get my back foot as close to the ball as possible. So even if I need to pass off the base, i still got a lot of power. But even from there, then I can just scoot on and go. To Cluck, charging forwards at high speed. There's a lot of one-on-one -on -one nine battles still going on. Which ones do you like playing? One of the nicest battles is probably me and Danny Kerr. Great guy and, and a great player. And, He's also a, a massive threat against anyone he plays, and um, it's always good to play against him. I think he's one of the best guys in the Prem for me. How about that for timing? And the tackle was superb. What is your trigger? Because you blitz through and almost take in the nine when he's in two minds about what he's going to do. Normally, if it's quick ball, the nines are going to try and run in and try and go. So if I'm coming back from this side, you know I'm going to pick up. Yeah. You'd come through this channel here, would you? Yes. Or would you chase the far I side? I would come straight in, yeah. So as he goes down and looks there, I'm just coming from the blind side. What a read from De Klerk. And then I just never try and go for the ball, just try and get an arm so Inside it just falls arm. to the ground. And then when you do get it, start laughing. <laughs> Well, you're an exceptionally tough player, but not one of the biggest. So wh where does that mindset come from? I've always been, been the smallest guy on the team, so just not be scared and just, just go for it. I think a lot of people maybe underestimate as well and think they're going to run over you easily. But yeah, I just try and uh, go in as hard as possible and sometimes just try and catch him a bit unaware. And one other thing that a lot of sides now have started to emulate a little bit, but I'm pretty sure you guys came up with it first, was the winger comes into nine, and ends up doing a little, like, one-two, a yeah. football one-two. Oh, little inside ball, that's brilliant! And that is what Fab de Klerk delivers to this team. Some sides get lazy, so we pick that up. That guy doesn't fill that space. So now this defender is following me, because he sees me as a threat. Yeah. So as you then... So, so you this, this defender here, the first defender, yes. he shifts out onto you. And we just, just and got the inside ball. And race between a winger and a fat kid. Exactly. With Sale and with South Africa and the World Cup, what, what, what's the next 12 months look like? First of all, I think for, for the next three games, we want to win every one year at Sale and make sure we end in the top six so we qualify for the Champions Cup. And then obviously getting selected for Springboks again will be massive. And then going on to win that will, will be a dream come true. And I think it's any rugby player's dream come true if that would happen. And then we're getting a few exciting signings coming to Sale. So hopefully it can be a bit more dominant in, in the Premiership next year. Yeah, so I think there's a lot of exciting stuff coming ahead. and. Uh, yeah, hopefully it works out for the best.